What does an electric four-door supercar of the future look like? I'm here with the AMG GTXX, a concept that heavily previews the brand's new EA architecture, which is going to underpin AMG's first EV, which we should see sometime next year. Let's take a look at some of the crazy tech in this car. Walking around to the side, one of the first things you'll notice is these wild active aero wheels. These flaps on these can actually open up to uh, cool the brakes and close up for optimum aero. Now, the drag coefficient on this car is 0.198, under 0.2 with side view mirrors. That's pretty unreal. And you can see here at the front, this pass through. There's also active aero elements in the grill. And you just swoop down this wild, wild, steeply raked back all the way to the long tail here. While we're over here at the back of the car, check out these jet fighter-like round tail lights and actually a display here used to uh, communicate from the inside of the car to the outside of the car. You can put, you know, whatever you like on here. We've got AMG right now. They can also display the percentage of the battery while the car's charging, as well as anything you can think up that you might wanna show to the BMW driver behind you on the Autobahn. So again, more crazy aero, lots of carbon, nuts, rear diffuser back here, a ton of carbon fiber all inside and out on this car. While we're talking about charging percentages and an active light, we also have this light paint on the side of the car. It can display anything you like, but it's being used here to show a battery percentage while the car is charging. Don't think you're gonna be waiting long for this to charge. Charges are almost as quick as stopping for gas. This vehicle boasts greater than 850 kilowatt charging. Not that the infrastructure most places can support that yet, but they're really focused on having a charging profile with a lot of area above 850 kilowatts. So this AMG GTXX has 1,340 horsepower. It can go 225 miles per hour, 360 kilometers per hour, and it can charge at 850 kilowatts for a wide section of the charging curve. All of those numbers sound completely insane because, well, they are. This car can add 400 kilometers of WLTP range in just five minutes is what AMG is claiming. While we're over here, let's uh, let's hop inside and take a look at the interior of the GTXX concept. So we have carbon bucket seats here and a sort of yoke style steering wheel with shift paddles. We heard uh, some sound effects as we were being shown the car for the first time and as it was being unveiled uh, that sounded an awful lot like a V8 engine. So I think we can speculate a little bit that this is gonna have some classic AMG GT sounds when you get behind the wheel, possibly some version of a simulated transmission with the paddles here. This design in here is uh, supposed to mimic a kill switch from from an old race car, orange accents all over. That's alluding to the C111, the Mercedes high performance sports car from the 1970s that was famously developed with both a Wankel powertrain, a V8, and a diesel. Unfortunately, never made it to production. But this car, we're told, will spawn a production variant of some kind. So stay tuned next year to see more of that. For now, I'm Maddox K with Motor One, and this is the AMG GTXX concept. What do you think? Let us know.